Okay, so in this lesson we're going to go ahead and uh, <coughs> model our tail light. And it, it's basically just going to be the, <laughs> the exact same process that we've been um, using over and over and over again. And that's just simply duplicate faces and uh, and create our model. So it's just, you know, a question of where we actually want to go ahead and place our tail light and I'm gonna need to move the hinge down here to the to the bottom because <coughs> I wanna place the tail light uh, a little bit above it and in order to do that I have to go ahead and move that uh, hinge down and so we're just gonna use these faces here to to go ahead and make our tail light and I'm gonna inset and you've seen that I duplicated the model there and that's because um, I need to get that inset in first and then duplicate the geometry and then I'll go ahead and uh, create uh, our, or uh, put, place it back on our model and I did too much of an inset there or not enough of an inset and so I think that's that's good so we can use that and just duplicate the face on that one delete the original and bring that one back and I forgot to duplicate the other faces here too so because we need those faces for for the original or from the original to actually make the the actual light shape and that way we have both of them I'll just basically add thickness to to both of them, and that'll be you know pretty much our our tail light for our car. I'm just extruding down, and I'll just add a couple a couple extra edge loops to make sure it, you know it holds its shape. And since they, you know, technically really won't be a texture, it'll be more of a chrome material, that's okay. To add those those sort of edge loops that tight to the to the corners of the model. <coughs> I'm gonna have to move the hinge down here a little bit more so that it's not <coughs> intersecting with the with the tail light. And it just you know you just have to sort of just replace and place it a little bit better, and that's okay. Just make sure that everything's you know placed properly. And just have to adjust the verts there on the piece of geometry that we're going to use to to go ahead and make our light I was basically you know modifying that smooth there to just really add a little bit of extra geometry and it just takes a little bit of time to to go ahead and extract one piece and two pieces so that you have one white light and two red lights or two white lights and one red light just depends on how I you know plan on texturing them and on scale them down a little bit um, individually so that it uh, looks like there's a little bit of separation in between them and we'll go ahead and combine them back together and just select the edges on each one the border edge on each one and just extrude in and basically that's how easy it is to to go ahead and you know make your tail light since it is going to get a texture and we just have to uh, add some extra edge loops so that it's going to you know retain its shape or hold its shape whenever you go to smooth the model I just have to take these faces out just a smidge more because right now it's just a little bit too thin 
we're just gonna I'm just gonna try to you know thicken it up a smidge and just extrude it and then we'll basically just scale it down so it has that sort of beveled look to it and go ahead and add our edge loop so that it's gonna you know hold its shape whenever we go to smooth the model and as you can see there it's it's looking pretty good I'll just do that for the other two here I'm just checking to to see if it's going to hold its shape right and and look proper whenever it smooths and that's looking pretty good. I have to now go ahead and separate them and scale them back up just a tiny bit more probably so that they're all placed properly and it looks it looks pretty good. And basically there's our our left tail light. And I'll just group it and basically rename it so I know exactly what it is to our left tail light. And then just duplicate it over and scale it in the x direction, negative 1, so that uh, instead of having to remake it, you can just reuse it. And basically, there is our right tail light. And, and you can see where you know adding all this little stuff it, it does take a little bit of time but um, you definitely have to do it to, to you know make your car look as good as possible it just takes a little bit of time to adjust and, and place everything properly I'm just double checking here to make sure that that tail light's looking the way that it should. And now I've duplicated the base of the car again because I want to go ahead and uh, make it easier to, to go ahead and place it. And I'm just going to you know merge these together and, and then I'll mirror it over and then separate it and, and just regroup. And it'll be easier that way. So to make sure that it's in the exact position that it should be on the right side. go ahead and separate the model here and basically just delete one half of it and bring that one back and there you go there is both both of our tail lights uh, and the body of the car back I just have to rename them regroup them and rename them so I know exactly what they are do the same thing here for the right tail light And there you go, there are our tail lights.